everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your very first time here. My name is Nicole, thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you're going to like it here. So this video today is an anti-haul of newborn baby products. Um, there's nothing wrong with these products as far as I know, um, I just don't have them. I didn't feel the need to get them when I was pregnant and now that my baby is here and I've had him for a few more months or a few months, um, I still haven't felt the need to purchase these products. And maybe they are a must have for some people, that is absolutely fine. But if you are very limited in money or space, then um, you probably might find that I don't know, maybe you can save save your money and save your space on a couple of these items and, or at least don't buy them before the baby's born and then if the baby's born and you decide that you would want it, then go ahead and purchase it um, rather than purchasing it and then being like, oh no, I can't return it because I've had it for three months before the baby's born and now it's past the money back period and anyway, I'm rambling, you get the point. <laughs> okay, so the first item is a pregnancy pillow. Um, I just use normal pillows, mostly because I just thought they just look so big. And then what do you do with this pillow after you're not pregnant anymore? Um, I just, I don't know, like, where do you store this thing? I just, oh, that, just the idea of that just made me not want a pregnancy pillow. So I just used regular pillows and just stuffed them wherever I needed stuffing. Like if I was laying on my side, I'd shove one under my, um, bump and then I'd shop on between my knees and you know you just move around depending on where you want they're not as convenient probably as just having one long big pillow but um I just I don't regret it uh let me down let me down <laughs> don't let me down <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if you have a pregnancy pillow or if you just did what I did and just used regular pillows on the topic of pillows, another type that I haven't bought is a breastfeeding pillow. I'll insert pictures of all these things as well in one of the corners. Um, and they are those pillows that go around your waist and you sit the baby on top while you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding. And it allows you to just kind of rest your arms a little bit because you can get a bit like this, a lot more if you're like me and you're awkward and you're like trying to feed like this or like this or whatever. And it's just, you can uh, hurt your back, it hurts your arms a little bit. So I completely understand buying a breastfeeding pillow but again I just used a normal pillow it worked just as well and I didn't have to I don't know have extra clutter of this other random shaped pillow that didn't <laughs> go with anything in my house you don't have to remember to carry it from room to room with you because that's your specific breastfeeding pillow I would use regular bed pillows if I'm feeding on the bed or I'd use couch cushions if I'm feeding on the couch um, it means that I got used to using, yeah, all these different pillows. So if I go to someone else's house, I don't carry a breastfeeding pillow with me. I just grab a cushion off their couch or whatever. And it, you know, it's easy and it's fine and um, saves you money, saves you space. The next item is again, pillow-esque, I guess. And it is a sleepy head or something like the sleepy head. One of those, I guess, little plush mini bed things that you can, transport around with you throughout the house and allow your baby to sleep in they don't roll like they can't roll off the couch because they've got these bumpers around them um you won't roll on top of them if you have it in your bed so again i understand the logic behind it and i really really wanted one but i decided to see how i go without one and i didn't miss it like i didn't feel like oh, i need this um so i just never bothered to buy one and now i'm glad i did not bother. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> yeah, now I'm glad I didn't. Um, yeah, 150 pounds, I think that is. So, and the next item is a bottle warmer. I just use some hot water. Just get a bowl of boiling water, put the bottle in it, wait like a couple of minutes, and then it's done. Really? I mean, it didn't cost anything, and it doesn't take up any space because you have bowls in your house anyway. The other thing about a bottle warmer is that not every type of bottle fits in the bottle warmer. So it would just be devastating to me if my baby liked a specific type of bottle and then it didn't fit in the bottle warmer. So at least, um, yeah, a bowl of hot water, you can't really go wrong. Um, the other thing that I would recommend saving your money on until the baby's like born and you know that you want this thing because you may this one is it may really really work for you and that is swaddles i would probably get one or two before the baby's born try them out see if your baby likes it if your baby likes them and you want to use 
more of them and you want to invest in some really nice beautiful pricey ones then go ahead and do that but I wouldn't recommend investing in loads of swaddles and especially the really expensive ones until you have your baby and you know that he likes being swaddled because my baby hates it and I have some really nice swaddles but <laughs> They just don't get used. Um, although I do have some lovely ones that we just use as blankets now. And yeah, I mean, look, you can always find a way to use a swaddle. So don't like, you know, this one's just a kind of throwaway one, I guess. Um, but yeah, you might just have to find other ways to repurpose your swaddle if you invest in too many. <laughs> the very last item that I don't really recommend spending your money on, again, do it if you want is a white noise machine. Now, the white noise helps Peter sleep and um, he does love white noise to fall asleep to, but I just use a podcast and then that's it. So that is it. Those are my baby anti haul items. Take of it what you will. I mean, look, it's just a lighthearted thing. It's just my personal opinion. It's just, um, I haven't bought the items and I don't regret it. So just wanted to share that with you. Uh, you might feel the same way. Let me know though, if there's anything on the list that you have and that you could not live without, that you were literally like, girl, how are you surviving without that item? Let me know. I would love to know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you liked it here, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and yeah, say hi in the comments below. Thanks. This is only intended for intention, a newborn baby anti haul. <laughs> it sounds like I'm not collecting babies. I mean, I'm not. I just have the one. <laughs> yeah, save that. Cha-ching! What am I doing? <laughs>